Okay, so let's quickly recap what we see right here. Um, we have, this is what we had in the last video right here. And on this video, the only thing new is this plus k on the end. And I think you already know from past videos that this k right here determines if the graph goes up or down, okay? And remember how I said in the last video that the brackets always lie? So for example, if there's a three right here, x minus 3, it's not going left 3, it's actually going to the right 3. Well, outside here, this k part, so if there's a 5 out here, plus 5, the graph is going to go up 5, not down 5. So it's only the brackets that lie to us. It's not, everything else tells us the truth. A plus 5 really means it goes up 5. If there's a minus 5 out here, it goes down 5, okay? Um, and uh, let's just look at some examples down below here. Um, here we have what you see right here. I won't read it out. You can see it. Um, <clears throat> look over at the graph. What do you notice? Do you see the graph going to the left three? Yes, you do, right? One, two, three. The vertex is left three. And how about this four right here? Do you see the graph going up four? Well, it's you know, the basic graph starts at the origin and it goes left 3 and it also goes up 4. Sure enough, there's our vertex right there. So something important here, this, and by the way, the graph is opening upwards because there's a 3 in the front. If it was a negative 3, it would open downwards right here, right? But there's something important about what we just figured out here. It's really easy when you see a graph in this form to find the vertex. So what you do is you just say, you take this as your x-coordinate, and you take this as your y-coordinate, right there. And one more thing, remember the brackets always lie to you, so the x-coordinate of the vertex is not positive 3, it's actually negative 3. Okay, so if you go to your graph over here, you say go go left three, one, two, three, and then go up four, one, two, three, four. Here we are. There's our vertex. And so the cool thing is this this form right here, or I guess we should say this form right here, is called vertex. Surprise, surprise. It's called vertex form. Okay, so let's see if, if I write this down. I don't know why it always does that there. Let's see. Hmm. Pretend you can see a minus 5 right here. Man, it always does that. Uh, let's say minus 2. If I asked you, what is the vertex, and you're not even ha you don't even have to graph this thing, um, what would the vertex be? Well, you would just look at it, and you'd say, okay, the x-coordinate, the brackets are always lying to me, so it's actually 5 instead of negative 5, and the y-value instead of negative 2, well, it actually, it tells me the truth, so it is a negative 2. So we've got 5, negative 2 is our vertex, and if we wanted to verify that, um, we certainly could. All I would have to do is type it in right here. See, I could just type it in. 2, and I'm going to write right here, uh, minus 5, minus 5, and over here I'm going to say minus 2. Let's see if the graph is exactly what we just said. 5 across and 2 down. Let's go over here. 5 across, 2 down. It's a little bit hard to see. I suppose we could zoom in if we wanted to. don't know if that would help. Sure it would. Look at that. Here is our vertex, folks. 5 across and 2 down, 5, negative 2. So just by looking at this equation in vertex form, you can quickly tell me what the vertex is of the parabola. You could basically draw the thing for me because you know it opens up and you also know uh, that it's been vertically stretched a little bit because of that 2 there. And uh, that's basically all the information to get a basic sketch of what this parabola looks like. The next video is going to go in a little bit more detail about the A part of this. But for now, we're just going to stop right here and say good enough.